This is our Nomadics TP Makers 30 page TP setup booklet that you will receive with your TP. Use it in coordination with this setup instruction film. Here you see the TP ropes, lacing pins, and tent stakes that are supplied with your TP, along with the various tools that you will need to put your TP up. Starting in the lower left hand corner, underneath the TP setup booklet is a coil of 45 foot long rope half inch in diameter. This rope is used to tie your tripod poles together and to secure the rest of the poles for the setup. To the right of the rope you see your tent stakes. These are used to stake the TP down. Above the tent stakes are two coils of quarter inch rope. This rope is used to tie around the poles on the inside of the TP when hanging your liner. Beneath the rope and to the right of the tent stakes is a wood rasp. This wood rasp is used to round and smooth the ends of the poles when you cut them off to make your smoke flap poles. To the right of the wood rasp in the middle of the picture are the lacing pins that you will use to lace the front of the teepee together when you bring it around. Above the lacing pins are staples that you will use to put into the poles when you're putting up your liner rope to hang your liner. To the right of the staples are four pieces of small wood with nails in them. You will prepare these yourself with the utility knife and secure them behind the liner rope when putting up the liner. The hammer is used to not only put in your stakes around the teepee, but also to put a small nail in the lift pole flap when you're putting up the lift pole. You see the small nail just to the left of the hammer. What you will need there is a half inch tack or very short nail. To the left of the hammer is also a 25 foot measuring tape. You will need this to do all of your measuring. To the right of the hammer is a utility knife. You will need this to sharpen the ends of your lacing pins so they'll fit through the button holes in the front of the teepee. To the right of the hammer is an eighth of an inch braided nylon cord. This is very strong cord. It is used to tie from the peg loops to the stakes. It is also used to tie from the end of the smoke flaps to the front of the stake in front of the teepee. Each cord should be cut 30 inches long for each peg loop. In order to determine how many of these you need, count the number of peg loops on your teepee and cut that number of ties for your peg loops. To the right of the rope is a lighter. You can use a lighter or a match or a candle to burn the ends of this nylon cord so they won't ravel. On the far right is a handsaw. Use this to cut the ends of the smoke flap poles to the proper length when you're inserting them into the smoke flap pockets. If you're going to need a rain cap for your teepee, you will also need to saw the ends of the poles off to the proper length for the rain cap. Above the entire group of tools is a six foot step ladder. The ladder has multiple uses, but its main use is to get you up to the top of the teepee when you start to put in the lacing pins as you pin them down the front. It's also used if you're setting a teepee up by yourself. You can set the entire teepee up using this ladder. We'll show you how to do this as we go through the setup procedure. This concludes the tools and materials that you will need to set up your teepee.